Hello everyone, welcome to BISP Solution. My name is Shubham Temre. In today's session, we discuss about min max planning at purchase acquisition. Okay, in Oracle Fusion supply chain management application. So, as we already covered min max planning at inventory organization level and min max planning at sub inventory level, and in today's session, we cover min max planning at purchase requisition. So some basic setups for min max planning at purchase requisition. First, we have to set price for our item. Okay. After defining the price, we have to assign item to at sub inventory level. In sub inventory, we have to assign our item. Okay. After that, we have to run min max planning report where minimum quantity of our item, maximum quantity of our item, or reorder quantity of our item, and horn end quantity available of our item are shown over here. Okay. Then uh, after completion of min max report, we have to run our profile option. Okay. So before create purchase requisition, we have to set profile option that is inventory min max reorder approved. Okay. So profile option name in application that is inventory min max reorder approved. So after uh, defining the profile option, we have to set requisition preferences. Okay. In requisition preferences in our procurement applications. Okay. Purchase requisition preferences. Okay. Now let's go to our instance. Okay. Now first we have to set price for our item so for defining price click on navigator then click on product management for our item details just click on product information management okay and search here search our item that is roller bearing okay yeah click on task manage item search with our item name that is roller bearing or item code let's say item code that is startup 1001 click on search icon select our item at chill inventory label okay that is Tata new york inventory organization select our item at tata new york inventory organization okay here scrolling yeah tata new york inventory organization that is our child inventory organization okay so just click on our item tata 1001 ruler bearing okay so in so in roller bearing item we have to specify the price of our item so what is the price of roller bearing item okay 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 just go on specification tab just click on specification tab okay so an item organization here purchasing hyperlink just click on purchasing hyperlink purchasing hyperlink okay then purchasing app hyperlink we have to specify our price for our item okay mm, okay here price by default it is okay but here purchase price that is let's change this to 150 dollar okay purchase price of our item mm. okay just click on save and close so after defining the price of our item now we have to define our item at sub inventory level okay so for defining our item at sub inventory level click on first thing on done click on setting an action then click on setup and maintenance and open our project okay Click on setting an action, then click on setup and maintenance. Under setup and maintenance, open our project, manage 
implementation project to open our project search for our project that is start a implementation project click on search data implementation project so you just click on it okay now the task that is manage sub inventories and locators search for the task that is manage sub inventory and locators Just click on manage sub inventories and locators click on go to task icon select our inventory organization that is Tata New York inventory organization Tata click on search select our inventory organization that is Tata inventory or Tata New York inventory organization click on ok Click on manage item sub inventories. Okay, here we have to assign our item. Here, our item is already assigned. For assigning our item, just click on add icon. Okay. For assigning our item at sub inventory level, here our item is already assigned at sub inventory level. Okay, for assigning new item to sub inventory level, just click on add. And here we have to specify item. Okay, that is our sub inventory Tata New York sub inventory one inventory planning method. Select inventory planning method as min max planning. Yes, you, here we have to specify the quantity, minimum quantity and the maximum quantity. Okay. So right now our item is already assigned. Just click on edit. Okay. Here. Yeah. Tata sub inventory one, Tata one double zero one item is roller bearing. Inventory planning method. What what kind of inventory planning method? That is min max planning. Okay, you require min max quantity unit of measure. That is each minimum quantity. Okay, minimum quantity that is eight thousand and the maximum quantity for our item that is twelve thousand. Okay, so minimum order quantity that is four thousand and maximum order quantity that is ten thousand. Okay, so for defining min max planning at purchase requisition we have to select source type as supplier so just select select source type as supplier just click on save in close okay click on done okay now click on done now go to schedule process and run min max planning report scroll it down under tools we have schedule processes just click on schedule processes schedule new process schedule new process okay process name is print min max planning report just click on enter print min max Okay. okay here our process name that is print min max planning report calculate min max planning replenishment level for items just click on okay now you have to specify organization that is start a new york inventory organization sort by inventory item planning level at sub inventory item selection all min max planned items okay include both lot and not lot control okay restock set restock as yes 
for defining min max planning at purchase requisition we have to we have to select restock level as yes okay restock level as yes okay just click on submit and other attributes are not mandatory um, 3664 that is a process process name process id process name that is print min max process id that that is 3664 so click on refresh wait till the process is succeeded okay process is succeeded so click on our report scroll it down just click on republish here min max report click on view report as pdf report is completed organization that is start a new york inventory organization planning level at sub inventory item selection on min max plan items okay here the minimum quantity for our item tata 1001 roller bearing item minimum quantity that is 8000 and the maximum quantity that is 12,000 on hand quantity available in our system or our application that is 5,000 on hand quantity is just equals to the available quantity okay and the order quantity minimum or minimum we have to order 4,000 so once a time we have to order minimum 4,000 quantity in maximum we have order 10,000 reorder quantity so what is the reorder quantity reorder quantity is maximum quantity minus available quantity or on hand quantity so maximum quantity that is 12000 and the available quantity that is 5000 so 12000 minus 5000 that is 7000 to so reorder quantity for a item that is 7000 okay so in this way our okay our report is generated now we have to go or get our profile options okay so for profile options click on setting an action then click on setup and maintenance okay click on task click on manage implementation project click on overview search our project that is Tata implementation project okay now search the task name is uh, manage administrator profile values just click on manage administrator profile values select the row click on go to task icon here profile option code okay so search with inventories inventory underscore min max click just click on search that uh, is min max reorder approved okay so profile option code name is min max reorder approved so inventory min max reorder approved scroll it down select the site yes site is at we have two option first one is uh incomplete and uh, another one is the pre-approved now in at the profile values we have to select the in in up incomplete sorry we have to select the incomplete for approval purpose we use incomplete pre-approved okay so pre-approved means it automatically approved our requisitions okay so we use incomplete it, it requires the permission for approval okay so now select as incomplete after just click on save and close so in this way you can specify your profile options in your application now click on navigator okay uh, and uh, just scroll it down procurement okay here yeah. procurement in procurement we have purchase requisition just click on purchase requisition here we have to update requisition preference okay so just click on more task and uh, click on update requisition requisition preferences update requisition preferences requester name 
already is taken over here deliver to location tata us new york location destination type that is inventory as we select if we select as sub expense there is not any option for selecting any inventory over here as while we select inventory we have we specify our sub inventory as well select our sub inventory tata sub inventory one okay just click on save and close okay now we uh, again we have to run and process that is process supply chain orchestration interface okay go to schedule processes schedule new process schedule new process uh, process name is process supply chain orchestration just click on enter process name that is process supply chain orchestration interface okay let's wait Okay, process in process supply chain orchestration interface that is our task process name and description create supply order based on supply chain orchestration interface records. Just click on okay. Okay, here we have to select specify supply request system that is Oracle Fusion Inventory Management Applications. Okay, other attributes are not mandatory, light organization. Okay, so just click on submit. Okay, three six seven three. Okay, process run succeeded. Okay, so in this way you can specify your min max planning at purchase acquisition level. Okay, so thank you for watching the video. Thank you so much.